Typing Accounting Equations in Microsoft Word In this video, it is assumed that you already know accounting principles and accounting terminology. So to insert an accounting equation, you simply click on the Insert tab, then over to the right, there's a button called Equation and a drop-down arrow. You're going to click on that and then click on Insert New Equation. It inserts a box and then inside the box you can type uh, the equation. I'm going to do assets equals liabilities plus owners equity. And then you simply click outside this and do a couple of enters. Now I'm going to just do two more examples. So again, insert equation. You can click on the word equation if you wish. It inserts the box just the same. Then income equals revenue plus gains. And then click outside the box couple of enters and then the last one I want to show you is simply putting the equals on the other side of the equation so we're going to do insert equation and we're going to do income minus expenses equals profits and then click outside the box so those are very simple ones now I'm going to show you one where there's a division so you'd say, for example, cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. Uh, if you don't use the equation, then you're struggling to type it in Microsoft Word. You're probably using uh, underline or underscore to do your division, or you even trying to type it in a table. So again, um, this is where the insert equation comes into its own. So I'm going to insert new equation. Now, under fraction here we have a choice of what the layout is going to be and I'm going to do just the normal division so the stacked fraction so I'm going to click on that and then uh, inside the top box I'm going to type cost of goods sold and then in the box underneath divided by average inventory Then I'm going to click just up by the division line and I'm going to push spacebar and then I'm going to push, I just need to be down lower, there. Your cursor needs to be in line with the division line. And then I'm going to do equals uh, inventory turnover. and then click outside your box and I'm going to do about three enters uh, and I'll just show you a couple of more that all using the division sign but you just put, I'm going to put the equal sign in a different place so this time I'm going to do gross profit margin so again insert the equation I want to click on the drop down and do insert new equation and then under the fractions I still want to do a stacked fraction so now I'm going to see where your cursor is at the moment I'm going to click on the other side and I'm going to do gross profit margin and then equals uh, and you'll see that Microsoft Word has automatically put a space after the equals. Then inside the top box, I'm going to do net sales minus cost of goods sold. And in the bottom, it will be divided by net sales. And click outside the box 
and let's do one more asset turnover so insert uh, equation insert new equation stacked fraction and I want to be on the other side again asset turnover equals click inside the first box sales and then underneath average total assets you see as you're typing Microsoft Word tries to keep sales uh, in the middle now just going back to formatting uh, mine is formatted to the left but if you want to center it then you can just click inside this group and again this is the beauty of Microsoft Word it treats this whole equation as one whole group and then you click down justification and I can center it as a group and I could go through and do all of these just depending on what sort of formatting you want to do So that's the power of inserting equations in Microsoft Word. Thank you for watching.